Hi, I'd like to say a few words about the anatomy of the heart. The heart is the size of your fist, located in the chest beneath the sternum. Although you feel the heart beating here, it's actually, as you can see, a midline structure. The anatomy of the heart can seem overwhelming, but we can break it up into smaller pieces to make learning easier. First, we'll learn the names of the vessels leading into and away from the heart. Then, we'll learn the names of the chambers, receiving chambers, the atria, and the pumping chambers, the ventricles. Then, we'll learn the names of the heart valves and the direction of flow through the heart. Finally, we'll learn about the blood supply to the heart muscle itself, the names of the arteries and veins that feed the heart. These are the arteries that are blocked in a heart attack. That will probably come in another video. These two vessels drain blood back into the right side of the heart, the superior and inferior vena cava. The right side of the heart sends blood to the lungs. Here's the pulmonary trunk and the left and right pulmonary arteries. Note the arteries here are blue. That's because the body has used up the oxygen stored in the blood. The blood returns to the heart via the pulmonary veins, which are shown here in red. This blood has been oxygenated in the lungs. Here is the aorta, which carries oxygenated blood throughout the body. Now, let's say a few words about the chambers and valves. We'll start with the chambers. Blood returns from the body via the superior and inferior vena cava, which drain into the right atrium, the collecting chamber for the systemic circulation. The blood then goes into the right ventricle, the pump for the lungs. The blood goes out to the lungs via the pulmonary trunk and right and left pulmonary arteries. The blood goes through the lungs and then returns to the heart via the pulmonary veins. The blood enters the left atrium, the collecting chamber for blood from the lungs. The blood then enters the left ventricle, which is the pump for the body or the systemic circulation. The blood goes out the aorta to the systemic circulation and then is collected into the inferior and superior vena cava and the entire process repeats. Now for the valves. Valves are in the heart to prevent the backflow of blood. When the ventricle pumps, the blood needs to go out the outflow vessels and not backwards into the atria. The blood flows from the right atrium across the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. The pulmonary valve lies at the outlet of the right ventricle. It leads to the pulmonary trunk the blood goes out to the lungs and then returns via the pulmonary veins into the left atrium. The blood from the left atrium crosses the mitral valve into the left ventricle. The anatomists call this the bicuspid valve, but we'll stick to the clinical name and use mitral. The left ventricle then pumps the blood out through the aortic valve. The blood goes across the aortic valve into the aorta and then to the systemic circulation. This is a good place to stop. We'll look at the circulation to the heart muscle itself in another video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe below and feel free to leave a comment or a question.